Okay. More stuff to show. I'm back doing videos. I'm actually recording a ton of videos. I got a feeling that all of these videos that I've recorded are probably all going to hit like the same day, my luck, just because of the way that timing happens. Anyway, these are some more of the stuff I've been working on. These are a construction site set and all the different pieces from the construction site set. Um, this is actually up on my site already. I know this one is. So I know that this one is up there before the video goes up for once. Rarity happens. Um, what I wanted with it was, again, something that fit that set a scene. Um, a lot of my inspiration on these kind of things come from my trip to work. Working in the city, there's constantly construction. You see construction trailers. You see all kinds of stuff being built. Why not do that to the table? So I've got kind of some of the common things that I see. Of course, the standard construction trailer. Um, you can't have a construction site without one. It really doesn't work that way. The porta potty. Again, it's a construction site. You're going to have one. The generator welder. You're going to have those kind of things. I even did a cable spool truck for or trailer for when they're pulling wires and cables and that kind of stuff. All of these things are nice little add-on pieces of terrain. Things that will help set the scene. They're massive enough in some cases that they grant great cover. And others, they give you that feel and that extra little oomph to make your table come to life. So with these, you've got kind of the core of your construction site. Um, gives you a lot of different options, a lot of different flavor, but there's still more stuff that goes with that construction site. And in the case of that, you'll see it in just a second. Without something for them to build. So, got your construction site, you need something for them to build on, that's where this comes in. This is a modular I-beam building. The set comes with the four tall upright posts and the base and a group of I-beams that you can assemble and you can put them together in whatever pattern you want. Um, they come with spacers, so with these little connector pieces so you can actually tie them together however you're wanting and be able to build different kinds of things with them. This is almost what I'd like to consider a DIY dream set because you can add so much to it, it adds so much character. Um, it just gives you a nice add-in that you can build other ways that you want and it ties into so many different games. This would span 40k, it would span you know any modern game, any sci-fi game. Construction type stuff like this is perfect because it lets you cover so much ground with so many different options without having to be tied in so you're not building your table for one specific purpose you can actually build a table that has options and a life of its own. So, you've got the construction construction trailer and all the extra stuff to go with it, as well as construction site. That's your scene there. Literally, with just that stuff there, you could set up a 3x3 three three table and be essentially done once you add in a few minor pieces, such as add in maybe a few trees or, you know, construction dump, dumpsters. You know, so there, I mean, it's a very fast to build, very easy to combine, kind of, kind of set up to build something that's different than what you'd normally see. It would give you all those options and give you a way to build out a table, flesh it out, have your full scene. So, that's really it for the construction stuff. There's one set that I've been hinting to in other videos and I posted pictures of it a while ago and it kind of fell off the radar. People were asking me about it. So I'm going to bring it back. You'll just have to stay tuned for the next video to find out what it is.